In this episode, there's a review of LibreOffice 3.3 and Dell partners with Ubuntu. You're listening to Linux News Log, separating the Linux and open source signal from the noise. A proud member of techpodcasts.com. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Phoenix, Arizona, here in Studio C1 at QuickSurf Internet Media. Linux News Log is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there. It's been a couple of weeks since we've put a show out. Um, I've been uh, under the weather with a really severe cold and didn't think that uh, you guys would appreciate me coughing and yakking in the in your ears so uh so i decided not to do the uh the show until i got my voice back and uh, now that it's here let's go ahead and get into the stories for season 12 episode 2. from pc world debian 6.0 breaks free of restrictive licenses this is pretty cool. Following a full two years of development, the Debian project on Sunday released version 6.0 of its namesake Linux distribution code named Squeeze. The new Debian release is notable in many ways, not least of which is that it is the first version ever to incorporate in an, an entirely free Linux kernel using only software published under the GNU General Public License or other free licenses compliant with the official open source definition. So that is a huge step. I know, uh, you know, there are lots of Linux distros out there where many aspects of it are open source, but not everything. And uh, this is one of the first distributions. This is, and this is one of Debian's first releases that that is entirely open source. So good news, great stuff. Uh, we'll be I'll be monitoring this to see how it trickles down into all the other distributions that are Debian based. So it'll be pretty neat to see uh, how this goes. Ever since Linux appeared on the computing scene, interest in it and open source software has steadily grown. In 2002, to support this interest, the Southern California Linux Expo was established. Like Linux, interest in scale has grown steadily year after year. So, for 2011, we are proud to announce that Scale is moving to a larger venue. This year's show will be held at the beautiful Hilton Los Angeles Airport. The move to the Hilton provides enough space for the addition of a fifth speaker track dedicated to system administration, as well as an almost 20% increase in booths on the expo floor. The Hilton is located at 5711 West Century Boulevard near Los Angeles International Airport. The 9th Annual Southern California Linux Expo runs Friday, February 25th through Sunday, February 27th, 2011. For more information on the Southern California Linux Expo, go to www.socallinuxexpo.org. We'll see you at Scale9x. Over at Linux.com, they have a review here, hands-on, LibreOffice 3.3. The uh, Document Foundation released the first new version of its LibreOffice suite on January 25th, and it was far too tempting not to grab a copy and run it through its paces. While there are a few new features of note, there's still very much... This is still very much OpenOffice.org with all the attendant advantages and foibles. So... That's it in a nutshell. Uh, If you want to read more about uh, it, by all means, check out the review. I'm not going to give it all away because uh, the author would probably get upset at me. From Read Write Web, the Linux Foundation is offering Android and Mego development courses. That's right. The Android and Mego development courses are uh, being uh, offered over at the Linux Foundation. There are six training courses available, three for Android and three for Mego. The courses were built in collaboration with the Linux Foundation's Technical Advisory Board to be vendor-neutral learning opportunities that introduce potential developers to the fundamentals of these mobile operating systems. So pretty cool stuff. Check it out uh, if you want to do any Android or Mego development. From the H Online, Johannesburg Stock Exchange to move to Linux. 
That's right. The Johannesburg Stock Exchange has announced that it's moving to an all Linux based trading platform when it relocates to Johannesburg. The JSE currently operates out of London and runs on the tra Trad Elect, Trade Elect platform, which is based on Microsoft.net and SQL Server 2000. It plans to move to Millennium IT's Millennium Exchange platform by the first half of 2012. So pretty neat stuff. Um, by all means, check it out, if, especially if you're trade on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. From internet.com's server watch, Dell partners with Ubuntu for Linux cloud computing technology. This is pretty cool. Uh, Dell will be making the Ubuntu Enterprise cloud technology available on Dell PowerEdge C2100 and PowerEdge C6100 servers. The UEC deal marks a major milestone for Ubuntu as it moves from Dell desktops to servers. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, you know, just further expansion into uh, commercialization, which is nice. From Infotech Spotlight, Enya joins the Linux Foundation. Enya, a global software and services company focused on solutions for communication-driven products, has joined the Linux Foundation, the nonprofit organization dedicated to accelerating the growth of Linux. Officials with Enya said that the company is joining the Linux Foundation to extend its participation in the Linux community. Linux is very often part of a multi-core system solution in the communications industry, said Marcus Georgeberg, Vice President of Marketing at Enya, in a statement. So pretty neat stuff. Uh, you know, Linux Foundation get more, more uh, companies is always good. That will pretty much do it for this edition of Linux News Log. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes. Just visit us on the web at linux.quickshift.com. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Adrian underscore Bacon. If you want to subscribe, all the links are in the show notes. Just go to the website and it's all there. And with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. See you then. Bye.